will challenge me? I will, dude! Such superb technique! Such mastery of form! Such delicious taste! What strange fighting style is this? I would call it slapstick. I surrender to you! On the table, Nickelodeon Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the samurai-themed collection with the return of fan favorite Usagi Yojimbo. On the back of the card, an image of the core collection group and a short bio on the season 5 story arc. The Ninja Turtles find themselves in another dimension inhabited by animal warriors. Disguised as samurai, the turtles ally themselves with a ronin rabbit named Usagi Yojimbo. Together they must save a young prince from a band of Nico ninjas, led by Jay, an evil sorcerer. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. I have to start off with Leo, he's typically my go-to turtle. Let's open up. And Leo outside of the package looking ultra samurai armored. Pretty realistically too, for a Ninja Turtle toy. Looks like we have the same articulation as normal up here in the shoulders, elbows, hopefully something in the wrists, yep. Nothing in the waist but your usual hips, knees, good looking toes, head rotation. Of course we have a weapon, just one sword today, and we've got a helmet. that locks on fairly tight actually and then a cool blue dragon's mask again for a turtle's toy this is pretty realistic if you want realistic look no further than me are you LARPing again Leo no so this samurai Leonardo is totally awesome amazing if you are into collecting samurai turtles I'm heavily reminded of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 Turtles in Time, or whatever that was called. Who's next? I'm coming up soon, but next has to be Usagi Yojimbo. Here he is. You're up, Usagi. Ah, that's right. Usagi Yojimbo, what this toy collection is all about. Let's open him up. And outside of the package with Usagi Yojimbo. What, what is this place? Oh, what dimension am I in now? Oh no, Blue, please don't say it's the Smurfs again. You've got good neck control, Usagi. Of course I do. Watch this. Um, you just waved your sword around. I kind of liked it better when you turned your head all the way around. Bah. So the Usagi Yojimbo figure is actually looking quite superb. Sometimes with these secondary characters and bad guys, they kind of skimp on articulation and some other things, but this figure really looks like it has a lot going for it. I see a lot of well-balanced articulation, especially up in the shoulders, in the elbows, wrists, hips, knees, and ankles. Very similar to the turtles. Which is good, because you're going to want to put him into a lot of samurai-like situations. Seriously. I like Usagi's pants. They're big and open for some good kicks. Kicks, you say? <laughs> Oof. Wow, that's really quite impressive. So it looks like you have two sword weapons on a side belt. Leo would be jealous. Funny how on the back of the box, you are holding both swords and they're in your pocket. How'd you pull that off? I'm so fast. They're in two places at once. What's that you say? Let's get those swords in your hands again. That's pretty impressive. It's amazing you still have ears on. Oh, I cut them off years ago. These are implants. That's gotta hurt. So overall, this is a really cool, great Usagi Yojimbo figure, highly recommended. I would say the only thing that kind of stands out is that Usagi's head is just a little darker shade of white than his hands and body. I'm worried about that white changing color over time. 
Right now it looks pretty good because it contrasts a little bit with him, and it does make his eyes stand out a little bit, but that could be something in the years ahead. Years? How long am I going to be on this table? For a long, long time. No one escapes. We ask for water. He gives us none. Then you must be my enemy. Prepare to fight. Oh no, not another toy rebellion. Alright, let's get on with this. Everyone's favorite, Samurai Mikey. You got that right. And Mikey out of the package. What do you think, Mikey? Did I get you in the exact same position on the back of the box? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm needing to go a little more like this. Eh, yeah, not bad. Mikey's looking good in his samurai armor. The big question is, how much are they going to vary from different turtle to turtle? Bringing back Leo, I can see really subtle changes here and there, but not too much. Obviously, the horns from their helmets are a little bit different. I'm seeing just slight variation in some of their armor elements. Obviously, their weapons are different. Mikey's sporting his spiky chucks. I like the padded back shell. That's got to be soft in battle. The reverse side of these helmets look a little bit different, too. So there is some differences, but as a team, they're going to look really similar. Leo, your sword! Uh, Mikey, come on! Ah! 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 Jeez, oh. Leo, you're ruining my moment! Why don't you guys ever take things seriously? So that's Mikey. If you are a Mikey collector and there's been a lot of Mikey figures, this one you have to add to the Mikey collection. I'll take you over to the Mikey shelf later, okay, Mikey? And don't tell Splinter. We have a water cooler. Cool. Alright, what turtle to show off next? I really like Donnie, but Raph has been growing on me lately. Then you have to do Raph! Whoops! Ugh. Whoops! Sorry, Raph! I guess we'll do Donnie. He's standing. Mikey! Donnie is looking ultra tough in this package, isn't he? Is it just the face, or is it the spikes on his bow staff? Geez, Donnie, do you always look this mean? I guess so. Anyhow, Donatello also looking good in his samurai armor. These are a great team building armored turtle team collection. Your bow staff isn't as detailed as it is on the back of the package though. There's a little more paint on that. And we've got a helmet for Donnie as well. I like how these really pressure fit. They don't fall off like those LARPing turtles. How dare the- oh, my helmet fell off. Snap on Donnie's dragon mask. And the dragon masks fit pretty tightly too. Sometimes stuff like that also is a little troublesome. This is a good balance of purple and steel. Good look for you, Donnie. Yeah, but I'd kill for some technology. Alright, it's time for Raph. You hear that, Raph? Booyakasha! And at least Samurai Armor Usagi Yojimbo didn't beat you to the slice! Oh wow, there's an armored version of Usagi Yojimbo? We're gonna have to look at that first. Mikey! Oops, I'll make it up to you, bro! So we have a Samurai Usagi. Let's check this one out. Usagi Yojimbo in some nice bronze armor, ears pulled back for battle, and black socks to keep his feet warm. What an interesting bonus to this series. It's almost unheard of to see a different version of a figure in the same series. I believe there's a horse to match up with this guy. I have not run into the horse yet, of course. My helmet, please! Oh, that's right, we have another helmet to add on. I don't know if this mask pops off, though. It looks kind of glued in there. Hmm. Anyway. Well, that's not scary. It's kind of hard to get it to match up with his eyes. Ugh. You know the other Usagi Yojimbo liked my ways and didn't attack me in any way or form. It's funny you say that, because while backstage, 
I ran into this Usagi, and he told me of all your horrid plans. Rabbits, really, I have no quarrel with you. I'm more of a squirrel collector. The squirrels are our friends. Prepare for battle. Oh no, not again. <laughs> ah, oh, ah, ee, ah, oh. Uh, next, oh, da, ee, ah, oh. And finally, it's Raph. Way to go, buddy. You made it before the 12 inch figures. Oh, that looks interesting. No, get it out of here now. Go, go, now. My turn, my show. Okay, we're going with Raph for sure now. Hey Raph, at least we could say saving the best for last, right? That's right. It's funny how just a different themed colored turtle and a slight variation of green makes each one of these look completely different from one another. Raph, a little wider than the other turtles. Are you saying I'm fat? No, no, you're just stocky. <sighs> Looks really good in his samurai armor. And of course we have a helmet. And a mask. Oh, I see. Last turtle on the screen gets his horns cut off by the camera. Sorry about that. That better? A little bit. So pretty good raft figure. I like this one. Oh. My. Shell. Do you know what you have on the ends of your weapons? Things to hit bad guys with? No! It's a pizza cutter! Huh. Will you look at that? You're the best figure in the collection! Can I have them? No, it's mine. Oh, Booyakasha. Now let's go get this J. Again, I had nothing to do with this. I got him. And your Ninja Turtles Samurai collection is complete. This fighting ninja team was a lot of fun to play with, and recommended for the collector who likes things a little more... serious. Nickelodeon Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles appears on store shelves summer 2017 for the new Season 5 Usagi Yojimbo Story Arc, which premieres this week July 23rd, 2017 on Nickelodeon channels. If you are a Super Turtle fan of the serious armor, this collection is for you. And if you are a fan of Usagi Yojimbo, this is the collection to hop into. Just make sure to give your action figures water, they get thirsty too. That's what I have to say about that. Nice rabbit, but Risu Bodengado is much tougher. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. I am a Ronin, a masterless samurai. He's not only from medieval Japan, but also from an alternate universe. So naturally, he speaks English. <laughs>